Homecoming comes to Howard University in January as a good son comes home hoping to restore good fortune to the football program with a new energy being led by the new athletic director. I'm Mark Gray in the nation's capital and the HBCU Sports Nation is next. The Howard guy gets the job as Gary Harrell, an all-conference performer in the early 90s, brings what he hopes will be that winning touch back to Howard University football. And these have been lean years for the Bison faithful as they have struggled to win a MEAC game in over two years. I visualized two years ago. You know, my, Once I started coaching in 2002, I knew where I wanted to be and I, and I was on that path and I was doing things that would get me prepared for this situation. To be able to come to Howard University and lead young men to have the best four years of, of their life and to move on to, get, to, to uh, receive a degree and go out into society and be positive men. Harrell was the first hire for new incoming athletic director Skip Perkins, who did an outstanding job during his tenure at Arkansas Pine Bluff, considering over the last three years they won five championships, including a spot in last year's NCAA tournament, and they were victorious in the play-in game. Be, you know, uh, when me and Coach talked, we, we think we could have a winning record first year out. Um, you know, obviously our conference is tough. We play a really good Division II team in Morehouse. We got Eastern Michigan, a BCS team. We haven't got that last third non-conference game nailed down. And uh, we play some big boys next year. We got Hampton, FAM, South Carolina State. But, uh, you know, we think we can have a winning record. And, and we, we got to give ourselves some goals, and uh, we think we can do it. Perkins and Harrell are both enjoying homecomings of sorts. Harrell, of course, played his college football here, and the Miami native knows that this is a great opportunity to touch the lives of men. Meanwhile, Perkins grew up in the shadows of the nation's capital in Southern Maryland and hopes to bring that winning touch that he learned by leading an athletic program in the SWAC. Being a coordinator, you know, making sure that I understand X and O's, but understanding how to treat young men, how, how to run a program, those are things I was mostly concerned about uh, uh, when, it came to out, when it came to football, learning how to control young men mentally and, and, and help them to matriculate through college. You know, I would like to be able to say next year in the fall, we have 10 to 12 that honestly have a chance to be top three in their respective area. You know, we can't say that honestly right now. We probably can only say we only have two or three that can be in the top three, and that's not going to be good enough. Howard University already has a special place amongst America's HBCUs and in the United States as a whole. But success on the athletic field can add a whole new element to the promotion of the university. I don't think there's any better way to showcase, expose, or recruit an institution of higher education than a productive, rules-abiding, competitive athletic program. And that's what we're going to be and we're going to do it right now. You know, we have an opportunity now with the new leadership, and the new coaches we brought in to really take our program to the next level of excellence. It remains to be seen if this new energy will turn fortunes around at Howard University immediately, but one thing is true. Skip Perkins is a proven winner, and Gary Harrell has never lost anywhere he has been. So when those two elements come together, it could make for good fortune at Howard University come football season. I'm Mark Gray. Now that's what's happening around the HBCU Sports Nation.